so hello good evening good afternoon everyone uh, welcome to this small session i am rahul kumar uh, a software uh, software consultant today's a uh, today's knowledge coach and today we will be explore and elaborate in details how we accelerate the performance testing with that with test automation by using efficient tools techniques and most important best practices so without further delay let me move to next slide knowledge etiquettes okay so lack of etiquettes and manners is huge turn off so punctuality join the session 5 minutes before to session start time we will start on time and conclude on time feedback make sure to submit a constructive feedback for all session as it is a very helpful for our presenter silent mode keep your keep your mobile devices in silent mode feel free to move out of session in case you can you need to attend a urgent call avoid disturbance avoid unwanted chit chat during session so this is a overall agenda what we do in this session first we introduce the performance testing and then after we move to importance of uh, performance testing after that uh, we will move to the third one benefits of the test automation for performance testing then select uh, selecting the right performance tools uh, we will discuss how we select the right performance tools and discuss the some factor what we consider and then after we use it we move forward a uh, type of performance testing <clears throat> and uh, what are the techniques of effective performance testing we use in this uh, in the sixth point we will discuss about this and in the seventh we will uh, discuss about uh, the test execution and analysis of the test script okay and in the eighth we will um, move to the move and discuss the continuous integration for performance testing at the last uh, or ninth point we will discuss the best practices for performance test as automation and then we we'll conclude and in the last we have will have a demo in which we will will i will provide some realistic scenario in which we will be follow uh, for uh, the we will uh, we will demonstrate the benefits and best practice for the test automation in the real world scenario okay next one so introduction so performance testing is a crucial aspect of uh, software development that help ensure the efficiency scalability reliability of an application under varying varying loads and condition how we are executing performance test manually can be time consuming error prone and not scalable so this is where the test automation comes in play which we, which enables organization to accelerate their performance test efforts and achieve more accurate results so in the in the session we will explore and explore the tools and techniques available for accelerate the performance testing throughout the automation okay so this is the overall agent of this session and this is a introduction part of this now to the second one this is a importance of performance testing so i will add some points here key points here so like first one is early issue detection so by interacting the performance testing into software development cycle issue can be identified and resolved before the application reach production which results saving time and cost which associated to the uh, defect which we issue which we fix the later okay so the second one is user interaction so by ensuring the by ensuring that the application perform well under the expected user loads performance testing uh, enhance the user satisfaction and increase the user engagement third one application stability by identify and addressing the the issues like such as performance issues such as uh, memory leaks resource exhaustion and concurrency problems so performance testing enhance the stability and reliability of the application business reputation performing the testing performance testing help to ensure that application meets the performance expectation of the user 
which maintain the business and which business reputation and the credibility of the business. Third, in the last word, scalability and capacity planning. So, by simulating the expected user loss, performance testing help to identify potential performance issues and allow for capacity planning, which ensures that the application can handle future growth. Moving to the next slide. So, benefits of the test automation for performance testing. So, in this section, basically, we will discuss the benefits. Uh, how, what are the benefits we get from the automation or for the performance testing? So, first one is accuracy and concurrency. So, automation provides consistent and repetitive execution of uh, performance, which eliminating the human error and variation in the test results. Automation quality properly observe the user interaction, which generate the lot and measure performance matrices to accurate and reliable results. Second one, time and cost saving. Uh, automation perform testing. Automation uh, performance testing reduce the time requirement to execute and test compare. And to, manif to manual testing, it also enabling the faster feedback of an application performance. Uh, automation enables the execution of your test on multiple platform, configuration and user loss, which I intensely reduce the overall testing timelines. Scalability and efficiency, the third point, which uh, define Automation allow for the testing of a large scale system without thousands of concurrent virtual users. In which we simulating real in which we simulating, simulating the real world scenarios for more efficiency or better. Automation tool can grade the significant load on the system that can uncover the performance bottleneck and scalability issues that may be in the smaller scale test. Fourth one is early detection of uh, performance issue. In the section, basically the test automation uh, facilitate the early identification of the performance issue and the bottlenecks during the software development life cycle. So we can uh, detect the issue earlier and we can fix. So we, we can like we can, uh, save the time and uh, cost for the issues. So last one, which is not the last one, the second last one, reusability and maintainability. The automated performance test script can be reused across all the different scenarios or the environment and the, even the iterations, which save the time and effort in the script creation, which also use the version control collaboration feature in the automation tools, which enables the teams to manage and track the changes to the script test. The last one, reporting and analysis. Test automation tools provide comprehensive performance report, reports and matrices that facilitate a detailed analysis of the system performance and their and their performance matrices. Contain response time, throughput, error rate, and responses, and utilization which automatically capture and present in the some structure manner. So when we execute the uh, performance test, so in the after the execution, we will get the report, detailed report. So we we can analyze and improve the things how we uh, enhance the performance testing for the future work. Overview of performance testing tools. So in this section, basically we will uh, uh, discuss about how to select the right performance testing tool and more more also discuss what are the tools available for uh, performing the performance testing in the automation test so as there are multiple tools to available in the market so but i have some i have mentioned some um, mainly usable uh, automation tool here which i already work on in the past project so First one is Apache Jmeter get link cases. So we basically, we can uh, select and evaluate the tool, uh, uh, evaluate the appropriate performance tool 
based on uh, your require project requirements budgets and technical expertise while selecting the performance tools we can consider some factors such as uh, protocol support scalability reporting capability of the tool ease of use and integration with the other testing frameworks like we have some existing frameworks uh, selenium java selenium apm and we, we will select like on the behalf of integration like we can integrate with the pipeline so there is uh, apache elementor tool so basically apache elementor is a popular open source tool for uh, load and performance testing elementor offers user friendly interface supports distributed distributed testing and provide accessibility report capability and uh, the second one is gatling so gatling is an open source it is also an open source tool which is it in a scale up and it allow creating realistic load scenarios using drone in specific language like we can uh, write our code in java or scala on the behalf of their requirement like what are the uh, expertise we have uh, the language expertise we have so we can write the code on the behalf of this so the third one is k6 so k6 is a also an open source uh, load testing tool for uh, testing and the performance of apis microservice and website so basically gatling and k6 is similar automation tool but uh, in the case 6 we will like we, we have some detailed uh, scenario of uh, reporting so we will we get the detailed report in the case 6 so by we will we will prefer the case 6 more in, in use of getly and we also have some of that below tools like uh, load jinja uh, load runner web load load complete new load and load view so this is also uh, available tools in a market that to use for the performance testing but the the all three which is mentioned above it is a main and by mostly used in the market okay so we can choose the tool on the behalf of our requirements and other things after that we will have, like we will discuss the performance type of performance testing so uh, basically uh, performance testing uh, in performance testing we discuss about the scalability responsiveness and load and how the load is implemented on the system uh, this describe this on the behalf of this we have certain uh, testing performance testing so uh, first one is load testing stat testing spike testing stability testing and volume and then endurance so on the behalf of how we implement the load to the application to uh, note down the scalability and responsiveness we define this uh, testing so in the next slide we will discuss uh, in the details on well so first one is the load testing so basically uh, load testing uh, determine how a system perform under a normal and peak load condition okay so basically in this uh, in the load testing uh, stability and responsiveness we uh, we test the stability and responsiveness under a limited load and measure the response time throughput and resource utilization of the system which help to identify the bottlenecks uh, such as uh, slow data query or insufficient uh, service capacity uh, if we talk about the example of flow testing so like uh, we have amazon uh, website okay so amazon website uh, developer say that we this website can uh, perform is efficient uh, when we have the load of triple line users in a minute so the, when we perform the testing to under the triple line limits so this is this is can this can be known as the load testing for this one okay because we uh, we will test the uh, application under the limited time load or uh, limited uh, load okay so second one is uh, stress testing so when we push the system beyond its normal uh, operating limits to identify the breaking point so this part uh, uh, cover in the stress testing basically uh, when we uh, in the in the stress testing we uh, we discover or test the responsiveness under some stress when we when we apply some stress external stress to the system so we test the responsiveness how the how the system responds when we applied some external uh, stress to the system so this type of uh, testing uh, done in the done in stress testing which has the system resilience and stability under extreme condition such as high user traffic or data volume 
help uncover and uh, potential weak performances and degradation uh, or failure so this is a this is a stress testing and if we talk about the example of this one like uh, the previous example we say that uh, we have triple line user for testing the amazon uh, lot but when we try to increase the lot like we in increase the lot by 200 so when we increase the lot 11 1100 then maybe uh, responsiveness of the amazon app, uh, uh, website will be changed so this type of testing done in the stress testing the third one is endurance testing. So basically endurance testing also known as soak testing. And maybe this word is generally used in exercise uh, or maybe fitness for fitness. And that means how long the system is work efficient. Okay, so in the endurance testing measure the system performance over a extended period. To verify if the system can sustain a specific workload for an extended duration without a performance degradation means we applied some load for some time period and we uh, manipulate the things like we will we test that system work for a certain period without any changes or without any degradation which help to identify the memory leak resource leak or other issues that may be occur over time okay so uh, as for the as we discuss as for the we, when we uh, talk about the example of endurance testing, so uh, it, like we, we can say the similar example for the Amazon website. So when we it increase the load, when we increase the load 1500 user per, for a particular one hour, for a particular time, one hour, like we can say one hour, so we can uh, test the responsiveness of the system in this particular time period of for this. So this type of testing uh, done in endurance testing. Okay, so move to the Skype testing. So in the Skype testing, when we suddenly implement the spike at a point, like when, uh, like similar to sudden and significant in increases in the user traffic or load. Access is how well the system handles suddenly in spikes and demands uh, recover afterwards. So it identify whether the system can scale up or scale down quickly to adapt the flexibility load. So in this, when we when we applied sudden when we applied the suddenly increasing load, maybe spike. You can so in this case, we will test the things that the system can uh, system can handle those things where we have high where we scale up the things or we scale down the things quickly. And to the, I can also give the example of this quite testing like uh, when uh, like in the Amazon website when you see that at a particular time at a, at a particular time you, you can see the uh, uh, offer will be start or, or you can say the sale will be started at 12. So most probably the most of the people's come at the, around the 12 and there is a high demand in the web in this in this case the demand is uh, high for that for the particular website. So that things can be used in the spike testing. This type of things can be used in the spike testing. Okay, so volume testing. Uh, in this case, volume testing evaluates the system performance while dealing the large amount of data, which verify the system can be handled significant uh, data volume efficiently, which identify the bottlenecks related to the data storage, retrieval, or the processing, other issues that may occur over time. So uh, in the volume testing, also known as a, we can also known as a flooding testing. In this, uh, in this generally uh, that we test the database capacity. So in the volume testing, we generally test the database capacity of the system. How that how the system can um, handle the uh, higher data or lower data in a certain time. So in this type of uh, testing uh, done in the volume testing. So at the last we will have a scalability of the testing. So we can in schema testing test the system ability to handle increasing loads by adding more resources measure how well the system scale up or down when adding server users or data which help to determine if the system can accommodate growth without a significant degradation in this so in the scalability testing we basically scale up and scale down 
which help to develop which help to develop by which it get the highest limit of an application that it is a certain limit by which after which the system behave in a appropriate so he may can increasing the increasing by adapting the this limit by adapting some uh, solution so this is also helpful for the developer okay first moving to the next one which is the main important part of this one uh, techniques for uh, effective performance and scripting so basically we will follow some techniques for uh, uh, for getting the effective performance so that are following first one is uh, test scenario design so to understand the application architecture user behavior and performance the objective of to design the respective test scenario so basically we design the respective test scenario which manipulates the things in, in like the railwords to prioritize the function of features that are likely to experience high user traffic or have the potential on the system performance the second one is uh, data parameterization uh, parameterization test the data to generate the realistic and varied test scenarios use different data sets dynamic values and user inputs to minimize the real world uses pattern randomize the data value to be avoid the repetitive pattern and simulate the diverse user behavior so when we apply when we use the variableization in the script so this will uh, reduce the hard code value from the system and will by which we can get the dynamic pattern in the script by which we can get the effective performance third one is script optimization so remove the remove and improve the uh, efficiency or steps or actions that do not contribute to the performance testing objective so basically we will remove the that step that which are not uh, contribute the, the which are not helpful to contribute the performance testing so we will remove that part use uh, some things time like we will delay in the scripts which uh, which simulate the real world scenario because in the real world scenario there is no back to back call so by which we will use some delays in between the scripts or the request Hmm. Use the condition statements and loops to handle dynamic value or varying the test condition and falls under this the script optimization. So the next one is a test data management. Manage the data if uh, manage the test data efficiently to ensure the consistent and reliable test results. Use data virtualization technique uh, to simulate uh, large data sets without the need of extensive storage. we also utilize the test uh, data and generate tools automatically generate a large number of realistic data so that fall under the test management things in which we basically we will uh, manage the test data for the performance testing the last one is error handling and reporting implementing ro robotic uh, robust uh, error handling mechanism in the test script to acquiring capture and report error and failure we use assertion and check to the to validate the expected results and uh, detect the deviation from the expected behaviors visualize performance test and using graphs charts or dashboard this facilitate the easily analysis and identification of the bottlenecks of the performance testing so that's all for about the techniques we use for the improving the Performance testing. Uh, move to the tax execution and analysis. So once the test, uh, once the test script are uh, ready, so uh, automation, uh, automation execution and real automation, real uh, automation execution are take place. So when the test case uh, are designed and scripts are created, so we should follow the best practice to execute our. Uh, our test and analyze the reports so one first one is distributed testing so distributing testing uh, load across the multiple in which we uh, distribute the load across the multiple machines uh, or virtualized instance to simulate the realistic user loads 
So we can achieve this by using the load injector or uh, some cloud-based load testing service. The test environment provision. Uh, we need to set up the representative test environment that closely resembles the production environment. This includes hardware, software, setting, database, and other dependency. After the uh, real uh, monitoring. Uh, so we monitor the system matrices, response time, CPU uses, memory utilization, and network traffic during the test execution. For this, we can uh, use JMeter, JMeter, Gatling, and KSX type tool, which provide built-in monitoring capability. You can you also integrate those tools with the with another tool that provide the detailed analysis like K6 and Grafana. Okay, so we can use this type of tools for more detailing or monitoring. The last one is result analysis. So in this section, basically we analyze the test results and generate the performance reports to identify the performance bottleneck, scalability issues, and areas. Of optim for optimization. So we perform utilization with the help of tool like Girvana and Kibna. So this is a part of a result analysis. Move to the third one, which is continuous integration and performance testing. So it is a it play a visual role in every testing. So Integration performance testing into CICD pipeline is a crucial for early detection of performance regression and ensuring that performance goals are met. Integration performance testing in CICD pipeline offers several advantages like early detection of performance regress, regression, issued by performance baseline and test results against them. Indicate performance testing with existing tool automation framework for seamless. So I will define each and every. So like uh, early detection for performance. So in the early detection of performance, we uh, test can be executed. Uh, auto can ex execute uh, and build a continuous feedback on the application performance. Early detection of the performance regression allow a developer to identify the identify the issues and address them properly or promptly. And we can minimizing the impact on the overall application on the performance. So that fall under the early uh, early detection, by which we can uh, by which the developer can promptly uh, get the issue or fix the issue. Is to break the performance baseline and compare the test against means the we uh, baseline uh, we estimate the performance baseline and compare the test results. Integrating performance uh, testing into the CI/CD pipelines, which allow for stabilizing of the performance baseline. The third one is integrating the performance, integrating the uh, integrate the performance testing with existing uh, test automation framework for a seamless automation. So we perform the baseline uh, test, which is uh, conducted initially to determine the acceptable performance levels of the application. Uh, under the normal condition. So by comparing the test results and things, so we can use the existing frameworks, like uh, I already say, uh, we have uh, some Selenium and uh, APM type of framework. So we can simply uh, integrate with the CICD and uh, then, then our also done our performance testing. So we also have some. We also follow some best practices for performance testing automation. So for these best practices for successful performance testing, we have some ten point. We define a clear performance test activity, selecting the right performance testing tools, uh, define representative test scenarios, use data, data management techniques, implement uh, test uh, implementation test skip best practice. Monitor and analyze performance matrices, collaborate and communicate within the team. So this this is uh, for uh, this is all about the uh, best practices we use in the performance testing. So when we clear like uh, when we discuss the first uh, some points like. 
uh, we clearly define the performance testing objective in, in the in the success criteria and success criteria uh, before starting the automation process so by which we can like simply uh, simply get the objective and uh, expected results of the expected result and test data of the performance testing so by which we can uh, get the accurate accuracy in and uh, get also get the issue which is different from the expected scenarios and identify the performance goals on the on the user expectation and business industry standards uh talk about when you talk about the select and write performance testing goal so uh, in the in some previous slides so we also just like we already discussed some like we uh, we choose the performance tools on the behalf of project content and uh, our expertise and uh, also uh, and also and also factor and some factors like uh, be, uh, like while selecting the uh, capability is of and uh, integration with and also check the integration with uh, existing tools like we have existing framework so we also select the tools on the behalf of factor like we can integrate with the other tools also then we have a design and representative test scenario so that indicate that real world uses patterns and workload profile that consider and focus on critical user journey transaction and functionality to define the effective test scenarios move to the next one use data management techniques in the section we basically we implement the efficient test data management techniques to generate or simulate the real state test data also ensure that consistency and reliability by uh, care, by carefully managing the uh, managing and refreshing the test data between the tests implement implement test implementing test script best practices so by following the scripting best practices to create maintainable and reusable performance tests by which we can modularization and by using the modularization and acceptation techniques which delivers the parameterization to simulate the variation in user in input data sets or dynamic values monitoring and analyzing matrices monitor the key performance matrices during the test execution such as response time utilization memory and network traffic which also include also we also visualize the performance data using uh, graphs or chart and dashboard to which facilitate the ease of ease of analyze the reporting at last we will also discuss the collaboration communication so by the help by we can like foster by the help of collaboration communication we foster collaboration between performance team we can provide the foster collaboration between performance test and developer of other stakeholder in the performance test so these are some best practices which we follow for performance testing to accelerate the performance testing in the automation so this is a conclusion part so test automation uh, like as test automation play a virtual role in accelerating the performance testing efforts of leveraging appropriate tools and techniques uh, organization can efficiently uh, create and execute monitor and analyze the performance test by enabling to identify and resolve the performance issues early in the software development cycle that ultimately leads to improve the application performance user satisfaction and business success automation accelerate the performance testing and improve the application performance following best practices and which also let we also continue monitoring and op optimization are also crucial for maintaining the optimal performance through, throughout the uh, application life cycle so this is the conclusion part of the this session let's move to the demo so basically uh, i choose two uh, performance tool uh, first one is uh, zmeter and k6 due to the limitation of uh, uh, knowledge so we have we need to discuss only two of them uh, in which we will try to implement all the techniques to uh, all the techniques and uh, best practice by which we can accelerate the uh, our performance skips or test so so this is a zmeter in which i have one thread group okay under this we i have uh, like i have mentioned three http requests one is get post put okay and I'll, i also uh, 
I will say add a listener in which is a which is a view test screen in which when we execute the uh, test case, so we can get the execution in the tree format. I also add uh, another uh, listener which is a aggregate box. So once we execute the execution, once we execute the uh, performance test, so we get the uh, matrices like execution in this reports. And uh, I I have uh, some manager. I I had some manager like HTTP header manager. to keys uh, manager and the defenders so i will be uh, discuss one by one so first we discuss about the cookies manager so basically uh, cookies are add to uh, accurately simulate the real world behavior uh, during the performance run. so when the user visit a website the server uh, offer the server often set the cookies into the user browser to store the session information or track the user performance so by including the cookies in jmeter basically Jmeter requests you can uh, mimic the, uh, this behavior and and so that your load test closely resemble the real world scenario. So by which we can like we add the cookies and you can see we can uh, add this type of cookies and you you get this uh, these old cookies from the uh, like uh, I I use this type of dummy website dummy dummy APIs like API users so. you can get this cookies from the uh, chrome uh, chrome inspection okay and add this type and you can define this type uh, here first is the step might and then move to the uh, header one okay so basically java uh, jmeter script are uh, used to provide additional information so uh, this the header basically provide the additional information and instruction to the server during the performance testing uh, they play a crucial role in the accurating and simulating the real world scenario so by which we like we we uh, define the headers so this type, like i have up some post call and put call so which is a which have content type uh, a header so we define the header in in this uh, like in the scenario so we write simply content type and then application json okay so and then the last one is uh, we also define some variables by which we promote the parameterization like we also discussed in the uh, techniques we perform we promote the parameterization so we, with use of this approach we have to replace the hard code uh, hard code value in the request with all dynamic variables so it it is also crucial technique to simulate the realistic user behavior and generate the diverse test scenarios okay so when we try to execute them so like you can save and to run so basically i run initially from this one from the gui folder to ui gui as after that i will uh, take this from the command line so basically this is a user i in the uh, thread group i have defined the number of threads ramp up and a loop count so basically i define the loop count one and ramp up time period is only 5 seconds and there is a uh, number of thread is 20 so i define three uh, i use three requests three http requests so total request means like 20 for this 20 for this 20 for this so total is uh, 60 requests we have so you can see in this one so when we execute there is a three or two uh, requests http one There are twenty, twenty, and the total is sixty. There is average, median, and nine percent. Nine percent line, or is the max minimum time and maximum time. This is error. Zero point zero means that there is no error. Throw put and response received from the server. So this is a overall uh, report we generated by uh, execution. And, and when you try to get the particular request, like we need to see the particular request time, so you can see and see also see the request and response order. okay so basically uh, for best practices uh, for we uh, we trigger the jmeter test from the command line tools not for this one because it use only because when we trigger the uh, trigger the test from the terminal so it use few system resources in compared to the gui mode which allow better utilization of system capability and help to integrate with the which also also help to integrate the cicd so like and try we can also try this one 
is for segment also. Yeah, this one. You can see there is acquisition starting and there is a summary. We have 60 in minutes in zero and there is a minimum and maximum time. 314 is average time and minimum time is 135 and maximum time is uh, 500. This is similar as we can say in the join bar. Okay, and error is 0 0.00%. So this is uh, the things we are uh, in, we are adopt to uh, accelerate the things in the meter for performance testing. Okay, so that's all about for the generator things. And uh, let's move towards the K6. So basically, K6 is also a similar tool, but we basically we include some scripting parts. So this is this is the things we are implemented. Here we implement we we define some. Uh, we define some variables, okay, and then we define the stages where which includes the ramp pump time periods, which we can ramp pump the by virtuals. Like we can uh, increase the virtual user uh, gradually by zero to one, then up to then step by step, and then we decrease that we maintain in, uh, define the threshold time period for this one. Like uh, if the if uh, ninety percentile of the uh, request is less than fifty. 500 uh, response time, then, then then overall thing is passed. And after that, if it is not made, then it, the overall performance test is fit. Then there is a uh, other thing also to set, like we use a get call for this one. Okay. And there is some checks and which also implement, uh, which also indicate the best practice for uh, accelerating the things in performance testing. And like uh, in the in between the selects, I discuss about the things time which implement the delay. In the things, so this is uh, all about the aspects. Uh, I also integrate this K uh, six into the Grafana dashboard. So I will. I will see how we can see the runtime execution of this one. Basically, uh, I declare the duration twenty and in two minutes. So you can see this uh, all things into the Grafana dashboard. In which you can see they many start with active user is one, then grade is increased to two, three, and then request per second. Request per second is here. You can see the actual time period for this one. So this is a uh, indication of K six into Grafana dashboard. You can check the error per second, request per second, and also check like I have. I have four uh, checks in my script. You can see I have four checks in my script. Is status 200? It's not uh, status 404, and has data this data or border sizes. So you can see that like execution of the check also. Okay, and a stable resolution. This is all about the uh, integration of uh, K6 about the. So this is execution time. Basically, it it, it increases from in the zero to twenty users from one second. After that, it will uh, when we get the two minutes, then it will uh, maintain the twenty user for two minutes. And after that, it ramp down the user to twenty to zero. So yeah, you can see toward this after the twenty user will be constant. There is no Increase in the user virtual user. So this is uh, done for two minutes. After that, it ramped down the user from like 20 to zero. Yeah, that's all about for uh, K6 and integration about the Grafana. Yeah, thank you.